Hello, you guys. Welcome back. And today I'm coming with you with the Eunice wig review. And I got this wig, I want to say, back in December. Yeah, it was back in December, I remember. Hence the little Christmas packaging. I really thought this was really cute to do for the holiday season. A cute little simple Merry Christmas package. And right inside the box, you have the wig. Um, there was a wig grip, if I'm not mistaken, along with um, lashes. And I think it came with a cute little stocking. There it is right there. I don't ever wear them lashes. I actually donate them. And uh, it came with a little makeup brush, and I donate that as well. Because I don't even know how to put lashes on to save my life. That's the wig band right there. The eyelashes. Even if I did have eyelashes, hell no. That is not for me. But I wonder how you guys been doing. I haven't been on here in a while. And I know y'all probably don't even give a damn about these wig reviews. I just do them for fun. And to put some type of content out there in the screens for y'all. Look at me being childish. And if you can hear in the background, I'm washing clothes and cooking today. Today I'm cooking meatloaf. My, my little heart is in the hospital, so I'm going to cook for him. Um, it's my, not my child, it's my best friend. <laughs> uh, he's sick, so cooking for him and there's a little card I forgot what it says and child I don't have my glasses okay y'all can read that pause it and read it if you really want to read it because it wasn't really nothing special then they gave me a blank little Merry Christmas card now oh look at me your skin was popping them eyebrows were not child what the hell struggling to open up the package embarrassing but i spent 161 dollars and 88 cents on this unit this is not a sponsored video at all paid this with my own paid for it with my own money and look at this unit right here now with this being said since this was december i did dye that wig black because it was just too much like the color was too much on me i felt like it was given Daphne vibes and I just felt like it was clashing with my skin tone. I don't think it was like the best for me. But right there you see the construction of the cap. There was a little lace to cut at the back. And it said install should be like five minutes. Literally a slap on and go wig, which is now why I've been stuck on closure units as well. But this unit was so super soft and silky. The hair still is super soft and silky. And you know what? I might pull Shawty out and wear her a couple more times. Because uh, she was really banging. Uh, I decided to do a voiceover because I did not like the audio quality and I felt like I was whispering. So I think I was just really telling the details about this dark brown. Even though to me it looks hella ginger. It does not look dark brown to me. And I think that's what threw me off is I was expecting it to be like a dark brown and I thought, ooh, lighting, you know. Maybe that's why it looked like that on the picture. No, sis, it's actually that ginger color. I'll sell it down by it. <clears throat> but right there, I'm just saying, like, I need to cut this. And, yeah, I was showing the little... Ever. Y'all see how dark brown that looked on there? That was that was some catfishing shit right there. Because that shit looked real ginger to me in person. I was like, dark brown, am I tripping? But we about to flip it on. Wait, ooh. 
I was so disappointed when I put it on at first because I was like, damn, this shit is actually red. But I was feeling it. People loved it. But y'all just, I could not stand this ginger color. Felt like it was doing a little too much for me. That's why I said, whoa. (laughs) I was really trying to figure out what the hell to do with this. Don't get me wrong. I will definitely order this wig again. But I would dye it another color. I'd probably dye it burgundy. It would have been nice if I dyed it like a darker red. And I think my timer for my meatloaf is about to go off, y'all. So tell me... Do y'all eat meatloaf in your household or not? Like, I don't really hear too many people say, oh, I'm going to make a meatloaf. Is that, like, not in no more? Because I grew up on meatloaf. And I was, like, so nostalgic for Sundays is my mom would cook on, like, Saturday or Sundays meatloaf. I ain't talking about nothing important here. I think I was just low-key disappointed in it, y'all. Like, I was like, what in the actual hell did I get myself into? Yeah, I said I look like Kelly Rowland with that wig on. Now that I dyed it black, that's what it gives me vibes of is Kelly Rowland. I should show y'all what it looks like with the with it being black and after it's been almost three months. Oh, hold on, shawty. Y'all hear that? Alexa telling me I need to go take my meatloaf out. Yes, ma'am. I was just getting it. Yes. Ah. 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 Okay. Oh. Ow. Yes. 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 But look at this, y'all. That was so freaking cute when I put all of this on. But in the next clip, I'm about to sit over here and get a little dolled up for you guys so you guys can see the final look. Now, yes, ma'am. I feel like I was really serving something in this. This is the last thing. Put a little foundation on. Decided to put a little gloss on and this cute little top from H&M. And look at this, like it is so freaking adorable, so cute, all put together. I don't know who I thought I was, but child, there you go. And as always, you guys, love you, stay beautiful, bye.